Good morning, boys and girls. Today's stories are going to be about leaves. And in your kit, you will have a little leaf, and you will have some Google Eyes, and you will have a popsicle stick, and you will be able to make you a leaf person. And then you can take your leaf person and go around like that. You can be a, your puppet. And you will have a leaf coloring sheet, plus you will have a leaf sorting sheet. So you will look at this leaf on each side and right down in the middle here and have mom or an older brother or sister to cut the leaves out for you. Or if you can use the scissors, you cut them out and you match them, match the correct one under the picture. So if you have the orange leaf here, you will find your orange leaves. Here's your red leaves, you will match your red leaf and then your green leaves. And then you can just lay them under there. That way you can work on your colors. And then your coloring sheet, you can just color uh, just like however you want to. But our stories today are when the leaf blew in. Leaves are really blowing now, aren't they? When the leaf blew in, the cow sneezed. <laughs> When the cow sneezed, ah, chew, the spider landed on the owl. When the spider landed on the owl, the owl swooped out of the barn. When the owl swooped out of the barn, the pig dove in the mud. When the pig dove into the mud, the goat kicked over the bucket. When the goat kicked over the bucket, the chicken spun around and around and around. When the chicken spun around and around, the horse reared up and went, nay. When the horse reared up and neighed, the sheep leaped over a barrel. When the sheep leaped, leaped over a barrel, the duck jumped into the pond. When the duck jumped into the pond, the frog hopped onto the lily pad. When the frog hopped onto the lily pad, the dragonfly buzzed across the sky. You think it's gonna wake up the dog? Let's see. When the dragonfly buzzed across the sky, the dog woke up and chased the squirrel. When the dog woke up and chased the squirrel, the robin flew into the tree. When the robin flew into the tree, what do you think is going to happen? What's falling down? The leaf blew in. That's when that leaf came in and blew in. All right. Our next one is called the leaf thief. Can you imagine why anybody would want to take a leaf? Oh, what a wonderful time of the year. I'm snug in my nest with my belly full of hazelnuts and the sun is shining through my leafy canopy. Such lovely colors. Red, gold, orange, red, gold, orange. Red, gold, wait a minute. One of my leaves is missing. It's not here. It's not under here. Bird? What is the matter? said the bird. Someone stole my leaf. Your leaf? That's not your leaf, squirrel. Yes, one of my leaves is missing. My leaf looked a lot like that one. The one mouse had. 
But how can you be sure? Mouse, did you take my lead? No, this is my boat. See, Squirrel, it's perfectly normal to lose a leaf or two at the same time of the year. Okay, thanks, Bird. See you tomorrow. Oh, no, this is bad, Bird. What's the matter this time? More leaves have been stolen. Excuse me, Woodpecker. Are those my leaves? No. They're my leaves, squirrel. I spent ages collecting all these. No one is taking your leaves, squirrel. This happened last year, remember? Well, maybe. Why don't you go back to your nest and try to relax? Oh, thanks, bird. Try to relax. Breathe in and out. Just relax. Think squirrel can relax? The following morning, oh, this is disaster, bird. Bird, bird, where are you, bird? I'm here, squirrel. Wait a minute. Are you the leaf thief? No, squirrel. I'm not the leaf thief. I will show you the leaf thief. Where are we going? Because I've got a few things I'd like to say to them. Look around. The leaf thief is everywhere. It shakes the trees. It rustles the leaves. It even takes your hat. Do you see the leaf thief squirrel? Who do you think the leaf thief is? The only thief is the wind. This happens every year in autumn. Every year, the leaves change colors and the wind blows them away. They'll grow back again in the spring. Now I'm going home and please don't disturb me again. It was just the wind. The leaves change color and the wind blows them away. Of course, no leaf thief at all. Silly me, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Bird, bird, someone stolen the grass. <sighs> sighed the bird. Who took the grass? Nobody. It just snowed, didn't it? Poor squirrel. He's having a rough fall, isn't he? All right. Our next one is red leaf, yellow leaf. And there's all kinds of different color leaves out there now, aren't there? I've been saving this little leaf for my sugar maple tree so I could show it to you. I love this tree. All right. It was born long before I was. The wind blew seeds from the big maple in the woods. They twirled and they whirled as they fell to the ground. There's the leaves falling to the ground. Seeds the squirrels didn't find lay sleeping among the leaves until they were covered with snow. When spring was warm, the seeds sprouted and sent roots down into the soil. Tiny leaves unfolded on their stems. I think my tree would have been happy to stay here forever. But one day, nursery workers came to the woods to collect tree sprouts. They transplanted the sprouts and tended them year after year. Just as the trees were settling in, they were measured, marked, and uprooted again. Each ball of root was wrapped, see they're wrapped, 
the twine right here and tied with twine. Twine. It got burlap around them and they're wrapped. And here's your twine. My tree was loaded into a truck with other trees and delivered to a garden center. We went there in the fall and picked out my tree. Dad had a hole already dug waiting for our tree. When we got home, we lowered my tree into the hole. I held the trunk while Dad covered the roots with the soil. Now every night before I go to bed, I peek out the window and wave to my tree. When it snows, I hang up treats for the birds. Each spring, I look for signs that my tree is growing. By late summer, the crown of the leaves is bushy and green. <clears throat> I love it when the tree flowers turn into winged seeds. But if you want to visit my tree, <clears throat> come in the fall. That's my favorite time. Can you guess why? <clears throat> why is that his favorite time? Hmm? Look at the color of the leaves. They're all different pretty fall colors. They're changing. Okay. That's why it's his favorite time. Okay. Let's do old McDonald, okay? And after we do the pig, we're going to add a turkey on. Now, I don't have a turkey, but we'll just pretend that we do and well, then we'll go gobble gobble, okay? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a chick, E-I-E-I-O, with a chick, chick here and a chick, chick there, here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick, chick, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with the nay nay here and the nay nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. And on that farm he had a pig, E I E I O. With a oink oink here and a oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a turkey, E-I-E-I-O. With a gobble, gobble here and a gobble, gobble there. Here a gobble, there a gobble, everywhere a gobble, gobble. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Now we're going to do five little monkeys <clears throat> jumping on the bed, okay? We'll put our monkeys on here. Let's see if they can behave here. And if you'll hold up one hand and let your hand go up and down, okay? Five little monkeys. He's jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys. Jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys.
Pinky's jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Thank you, boys and girls, and your kits will be in the children's library. If you're not able to come into the story time, you can come in and pick those up on Tuesday when we open at 9.30. Hope to see you soon. Bye.